Christmas is just around the corner, and nothing gets you in the Christmas spirit like Christmas decorations. Here in Green, Ohio, the best Christmas decorations in someone's yard belong to the Kuntz family. People from all over Green come to 1507 Cherry Lane to see this Christmas extravaganza. Actually, this is my, uh, we started 25 plus years ago uh, with the reindeer on the roof. That's how we got started, and then it just started to go from that point. And, uh, well, my uh, father-in-law and brother-in-law, they're the minds and the, the uh, good things behind all of this. They just absolutely love uh, Christmas and love to do this for the community. And uh, just uh, something new. It gives us a project, gives us some... Uh, uh, engineering kind of ways to um, weld and uh, just put things together but they're the brains behind the whole thing I'm just uh, here to help put it all together sometimes we'll look at uh, different displays that we've seen around and uh, other than that it's just a matter of whatever comes to mind we dream it and then make it work a lot of this is uh, parts from cars that we use and, and, and uh, motors and different things uh, some of these, like the roller coaster that we have, um, was based on a roller coaster that we saw down in Tuscora Park, uh, down in New Philadelphia. So I don't spend a whole lot of time building all of it, but uh, when it comes to putting it in place and in production, um, I'm usually the one that comes in and tries to help and pull it all together, along with my uh, uh, Paul, the, my father-in-law's um, brother, comes in from Oregon. Uh, and uh, So it's a family affair. We all get together and uh, put it all together. Every display that we have, we make from scratch. Yeah, we started out making things the, uh, the cheap, inexpensive way, which was two befores and uh, PVC pipes. And, and now, just about everything we build is with uh, steel. So it's conduit, and it's garland, uh, and it's uh, PVC pipes and stuff that'll last. My, my son is all the brains and all the computer power, <laughs> so I'm pretty much the laborer and the, and the dollars. It used to go up uh, about $500 for the month of December, but starting about five years ago, we switched. Now, I think everything is, just about everything is switched up, except, you know, except a lot of the, uh, like the, the, the light bulbs, the Christmas bulbs. Uh, we have special places that we... Uh, Order, on, uh, order them from the internet because you can't buy them locally. And the same way with the, the garland, which is almost every display. You cannot buy that locally, so we have to uh, order it, and so you have to order it about six months ahead. And it's pretty, it's, uh, the garland is pretty expensive. This year's uh, new display is what we call the cube. It's a five foot by five foot uh, polycarbonate, uh, clear plastic uh, cube with a giraffe inside and we wanted it to spin. The cube itself, once it's made of steel and is polycarb, it's very heavy. So you need something to spin it that's very substantial. So we went to the junkyard and bought the uh, front end the axle portion of a uh, 1970 Chevy Citation. Oh, I don't know, you probably on a big display, you probably can figure a thousand bucks or so. With the biggest expenses being the, uh, the garland and the bulbs. And then stuff like the, uh, uh, the steel and stuff, that adds up. But we try to keep adding to it, and every now and then we have to retire. Uh, this year we're retiring, or last year we retired our favorite display, the 13-foot teddy bear. And uh, so part of him has uh, been destroyed, and this year we'll have to destroy the rest. We need room to store the stuff, so we get rid of one. Uh, we make a new one, we sometimes have to get rid of an old one. Sometimes they get worn out too, like the deer on the roof. So uh, that's the second, I think the second generation. The original ones was uh, logs out of the woods, sawed up and for uh, legs and body and head and so forth. And now it's uh, PVC pipe. Who on earth would put a roller coaster in their front yard for Christmas? <laughs> and the idea was to uh, just make a working roller coaster and we had visions of you know four or five cars and lots of grandiose schemes, but uh, it's all we can do to keep one car. Yeah. One of the garages was built just for the Christmas stuff and then has a huge uh, upper level with a uh, hoist that we can hoist stuff up there. And then we have uh, a big basement. No, I don't have a background. I 
I get a background in computers, but okay. I've just started doing electrical and other stuff. So cool. S started not with uh, electrical, more uh, mechanical building. We started out with hacksaws, and you know now we got power saws and welders and plasma cutters. And it's basically kind of looks like a nightlight, just on the on the in reverse. When it gets light, it trips the sensor, and it's got the same component that a nightlight does. So when the headlights hit the light sensor, it trips a relay that counts on the computer. Weekends are always the heaviest traffic, and every weekend towards Christmas, unless weather plays a factor, it gets heavier. Some nights, I think the real number is around a thousand cars. Well, that's one of the most fun things, yeah, coming out if, the, if it's a warm evening and hearing all the comments from the little kids. I well, like this snowman. It's been, I think, rebuilt three times. The garland, garland wore out, it got yellow. The, about, about the only thing I've done is just make the M&Ms on the Ferris wheel. The new one, the giraffe, Taylor and I got the costumes for, and we got costumes for the rabbit that's on the teeter-totter. So if there's any costumes, yeah. yeah.